All right, good morning and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. In today's video, we are asked to solve this simple math problem. Y raised power 3 plus y is equal to 30. Now, how do you solve this? Right solution. Solution. Now, we have that. <coughs> okay, let me demarcate here so that it will be easy for us to... So, I have that um, y raised to power 3 plus y is equal to what? 30. Okay, now, if we move this 30 to this side, I'm going to have y raised to power 3 plus y minus 30 is equal to 0. And don't forget I'm a mathematician and I have a full video of every topic you need in both math, physics, and chemistry on my YouTube channel. Just go straight to the playlist. You will see any topic at all you're looking for in math, physics, and chemistry is there. Okay? So now let's continue. Now the question now is, uh, how do I break this thing down, this 30? Do you believe me that 30 is the same thing as if I have, um, this is y raised power 3 uh, plus y minus 30 same thing as saying minus 27 minus 3 right is equal to 0 minus 27 minus 3 will give us minus 30 okay so now this will now give us now the reason i did that is because i know that 27 can be in form of cube is a perfect cube okay so this is now y raised power 3 let me bring this together minus 27 then i will now have plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. I'm going to solve this with two methods, okay? So, now, I'm not having that, um, this is something I'm saying, y raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3, okay? Then plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, look at this now. If you have, um, if you have x raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3, now, the answer is the same thing as uh, x minus y then in bracket of x squared plus xy plus y squared, okay? You should know this. Sorry. You should know this, okay? Uh -huh. So now, this means that these two now, these two people alone is the same thing as saying, is the same thing as saying y minus 3 in bracket of y squared plus uh, the two of them, that is 3y, then plus 3 squared, okay? Uh -huh. then I see half plus y minus 3 here is equal to 0. Now, let me remove, okay? So, now, this will now be the same thing as, if you look at, if you look at this line and this line, they have something in common. They have y minus 3 in common, okay? They have y minus 3 in common. Now, what is remaining for this side is y squared plus 3y plus 3 squared okay then plus this divide by this what is remaining here is just one okay is equal to zero now this is now that y minus 3 into this is y squared y squared plus 3y uh, this squared is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so i'm having plus 10 is equal to zero now don't forget that when the product of two things is zero automatically one of them is zero so we can conclude that that y minus 3 is equal to 0, or we say that y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. So from here, we now have that y is equal to 3, right? Or now, can we can we factorize this? It's not factorizable, so let's use the quadratic formula. We say that y is equal to k. Uh, before that, please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. And then go to my playlist where you will see any topic at all you need in mass physics and chemistry. Don't forget that the quadratic formula says that y is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over what? 2a. Okay? Now, from here, we can now have that the quotient of y here is my a, so a is equal to 1. The quotient of y here is my b. So B is equal to 3. And then finally, the last person is my C. So my C is equal to what? 10. So let us substitute. We will now have that Y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus, sorry, not plus, 3 squared minus 4 into 1, then into 10. Okay? Then everything over what? 2 into 1. Sorry, 2 into 1. 
so two into one now if we continue that way we're going to be having that that y is equal to minus three plus or minus the square root of this is nine minus 40 okay nine minus 40 right four times ten is 40 nine minus 40 there everything over two so i now have that y will now be equal to minus three plus or minus this minus this will give you the square root of minus 31 okay so all over all over two so the answer here is now don't forget we have my, y is equal to three and then from here we're having that y is equal to minus three take the plus plus the square root of 31 i no uh, 31 does not have root but the square root of a negative number is i so all over two or let's take the minus now minus three minus the square root of 31 i then all over what two all right uh -huh. now if you get to this point now this thing we have here i want to show you something this thing we have here we can get it in another way okay let me show you another way you can get these two values and that way you can factorize now let me see the question y cube plus y minus three okay so let me solve it down here so i have that that y cube y cube my plus y minus three right y cube plus y yeah y cube plus y minus that okay so y cube plus plus y minus 30 is equal to zero now if you check this now let's not be using normal polynomial if you look at this uh let's check the factors of minus 30 factors of minus 30 are minus one plus one uh minus three plus three uh minus 10 minus 10 plus 10 <coughs> let's say minus 30 then plus 30 okay if there are other factors you can just check it out yourself but i think these are the factors now let's check the one that will give us zero in all these factors if i substitute y which one will give us zero since you have already known that y is equal to three so let's say let's check for y equal to plus three y is equal to what three let us put it here to see if we are going to get zero so we'll say that what three raised to power three plus three minus 30 are we going to get zero this is 27 plus 3 minus 30. Sorry, not minus 10. <clears throat> minus 30. You see, everything here is giving me zero. Since everything here is giving me zero, I'm going to take this 3 to this side. This implies that that y minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. Okay? So since it is a factor, let us now solve it by uh what is it called? <clears throat> let us now solve it by uh division method okay let us divide we're going to use that y minus three to divide that y cube plus y minus 30 okay so now dividing you know how to divide now dms we use dms now when the first person here divide the first person here i'm having y squared y squared times this i'm going to have y cube y squared times this i'm going to have minus three y squared now if i subtract this minus this is gone minus minus is plus so i'm having three y squared here then bring down my plus y and then bring down my minus 30. so go again this divide by this will give you three y right plus three y now that three y times this will give you three y squared now that three y times this will give you minus nine y okay so now then we subtract again if we subtract this and this is gone so these two minus minus is plus so one plus nine will give us 10 y then bring down my minus 30 okay so now this divide by this will give you 10 so i have plus 10 here yeah? now this time this will give you 10 y that 10 times minus 3 will give you minus 30 now if i subtract i'm having zero so if i have zero so which means that this polynomial now this polynomial y cubed plus y minus 30 is the same thing as saying which is equal to zero is the same thing as saying y minus three we got and then this solution here if you multiply these two people if you multiply this person this person now and this person we are getting that polynomial so i have y squared plus three y plus ten y squared plus three one now if you check that is exactly what we got here look at it 
So this is y squared, y squared plus um, 3y plus 10, okay, is equal to 0. So if you now solve this like the way we solved the other one, you get the same answer. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like our video, share, and comment. And any topic at all you need in physics, chemistry, and math is on our channel. Go to the playlist. Yeah, go to the playlist. Thank you very much. God bless you.